Welcome back to Attack, everybody. Today, we're playing more Master Detective Archives. Rain code. A lot of stuff is happening right now. Um, say something, Ethan. I don't want to be the only one here. Ethan, please. Um. Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, we have so many things. Um, honestly, my head is a little, like, burnt right now. Like, oof, you can see the steam rising I, okay, off Okay, listen, I'm gonna bit. be honest. I have been waiting for this moment. Like, Dang and Rampa does it straight off the bat. Love that. Like, I feel like I'm in this moment from the second someone dies in Dang and Rampa, right? Uh -huh. But Raincoat has not really tickled my brain this much since, like... Ever. Yeah, five came close. And two was pretty good with the girls. Yeah. But this but is this by is like, far the best like start to any of the chapters because it's introducing so many things. It's so, it's so supernatural. Bizarre. It's so crazy. Yeah. yeah. So let's see where I'm in it goes. It's Dr. Weska, right? Oh, recap. We just watched the video of Dr. Weska getting mauled by zombies. And he told us some information. Go watch the end of the last episode to see it. Years ago. And every episode before that. Yep. If the doctor died in a failed experiment three years ago... <coughs> then he either <coughs> came back to life, or he had a homunculus version of himself. He's a smart guy. It'd be smart to have one. I met in Amaterasu's lab. Like, the dude was a genius. Making a homunculus of him would not be a bad idea. I mean, if you're going to make it of random people, you might as well make it of some of the smart people, too. Right. I mean, he is right there. Why not ask him? Oh, true. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. You can make me walk all the way back. <laughs> I did not think Huesca would have as much plot relevance as he does. <laughs> I know, right? Homunculi who have lost all reason seem to be attracted to sound. Because they're looking for foodies. Probably. Hey, bro. Dr. Huesca, please tell me. Do you remember what happened in the experiment three years ago? Hey. It's oh, my God. I wonder what qualities determine you how well you they are <laughs> as a homunculus. Okay, I, I get it. it. It's no use. The video could have been fake. Maybe if it was just some random disc, but Chief Yako went out of his way to give it to Zombie me. Yako too, so you know he was like mustering all the brain power he could to do that. Yeah. It has to be an important clue. But the last part was nothing but static, so there's no telling what he was saying. The homunculi have some sort of flaw. If they have a weakness, we need to know it. Did you get to meet your benefactor? Oh, you're here too? Perhaps you finally obtained the truth. <sighs> Speaking of which, don't you think you should return to the factory? Kurumi is in danger. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> What are, so what do you think all those pods were for? I assume growing them. <sighs> growing in storage, probably. And if everything's gone wrong, they've broken out and are wandering around. Maybe. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I was just wondering if they might be for some <laughs> other purpose. Like maybe you memory really wiping chambers or something. Do you? What'd you say? Like me memory wiping despite chambers, maybe. Seen, hmm. Despite getting knocked out over and over again. Knocked out. Interesting. He draws attention to that. Criminal, yeah. And even murdered real criminals in the name of truth. Oh, so he knows about that. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> he must know about the book of death, then. Makes me think it is Makoto, not that random guy we saw at the food thing. Also, is this blood or what is this stuff on the ground here? It's red, which is interesting. Maybe they kill the real people there. Could be. I mean, they have like a a little drainage thing in the middle of the floor as if it's like I'm meant to drain li liquid. Oh, to be clear, that's a compliment. A normal person would have fled. Anyone with even the slightest bit of a conscience <laughs> wouldn't be able to Doesn't take feel it. like a compliment. Yeah, this is kind of mean. And yet, here you are. Well, this guy definitely has, like, a vendetta against us, though. I wonder what it is. It must have to do with our past or something. It'd be one thing if you were using your abilities, but you're actually using a death god's powers, aren't you? Uh-oh. What abilities do we have? Oh, is he implying we have some? 
Yeah, maybe. Knows about me? How? Perhaps you're trying to corner me with all these acrobatics. But in truth, this is the worst possible move you can make. You can never outsmart me. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's go save Kurumi. Probably walk into a trap. Isn't all this a trap? I mean, I someone put us here. Someone was shooting arrows at us. Someone was... I don't know. Hmm. Someone wants us to see all this, but why? Especially why, if they know we have the ability to kill people responsible for death. She's not here. Yeah, and it's pretty easy for us to figure out who it is. All we just need is a bunch of facts, which we have. Yeah. And that's really it. Where are you? So why are they wanting us to do this? Knowing that Vladdy's personality, she wouldn't go back the way she came. Try looking for her up ahead. Yeah, we never explored this other area. Yeah. Right here, master! Is it this way? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pro gaming. <laughs> Before you know it, the truth is right in front of you. Have you been enjoying my party? Honestly, yeah. Yeah, this is, cool. this is fun. <laughs> so, it is you after all. Makoto Kagusuchi. No. It's you, isn't it? The white smoke that knocked us out at the detective agency was from that gift you gave me. What's your goal here? What are you trying to make me do? Hmm. Please continue enjoying the rest of the tour. <laughs> Damn it! How many times did I warn you to stay away from him? You should have listened. It's all too late now. What? No, you were always like, you need to go and do stuff yourself. It'd be a good <laughs> detective. You did not want to be like, you shouldn't do this. <laughs> Besides, you know, I'm sure from the moment I got on the Amaterasu Express. I was fated to meet Makoto. So Yuma's blood was red at the beginning. Yeah. We saw that. Yep. But Yuma, we might be playing a different Yuma than the one we had at the start. That was almost kind of my theory with what I said about the... Uh, the submarine. Us getting knocked out and stuff. Like, there are a lot of opportunities for us to get replaced by a homunculus. All they need is our DNA, and they had it on the train at the beginning of the game. I mean, whether they knew it was ours or not. I don't know. They sure, got, they could figure it out. Had cameras on there, maybe. I don't know. But what I wonder is if after the submarine, uh huh, they just grew us. Yeah, because I mean, you don't just blow up a submarine and everyone's unscathed. And everyone else probably got cloned too at that moment. It could have, like, I think that's very possible. I mean, they were at the hotel, so they had to have had like hair and f samples from like food. Like that's a if, CSI. If all thing. you need is the DNA. Like that is not that hard to get if you Dude, know where they're at. The spit on the fork from the pancakes they were eating is enough. Maybe. Maybe. It's too obvious of a setup to call it fate. This is way more like the perfect crime or something. Well, I thought you were chill, Makoto. This is very disappointing. Definitely losing some friendship points for this. I definitely did not think he was chill ever. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I was figured. like, when are you going to snap and turn into a psychopath? Look! Oh my god. Is that number one? Yeah, he's just chilling. Who was that, though? Is he going to attack me or can I talk to him? I don't know. See what it's up. Are you evil? Oh, I can talk to him. <laughs> he has like a tie? Is that. Who is it? The Hitman. Who killed the oh, Fink! <laughs> oh. Yeah, how did he die? Is it you? Is it really you? <laughs> he you was mad at that. Artist? Or it could be a, like a replica of him. Hold on, Master! He's not in any condition to talk! I did my job. <gasps> he talked! <laughs> Just. Like always. I want to see your face. The only... I can see your face. The target was a detective. Hmm. Is he talking about what happened? Duh. During the hit. A lot of commotion. Still, I did my job. Really? You can have just started working for Amaterasu or something? <laughs> like... Be a bank clerk or something. Yeah, there's <laughs> other jobs out there, bro. I knew it'd be a tough job <sighs> from the start. 
These guys add like 20 minutes when to the I, episode. I know. I refuse. Makoto Kagatsuchi introduced me. To who? Huh? To Yako? The client didn't. No. But otherwise. Dang. I would have. Yako got all sorts of dudes. Yeah, seriously. Makoto was really like five steps ahead of everyone. But for what job, purpose? Well, what I purpose? I knew Are you mocking me? Too much. No, it's a meme. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Damn. What's up with you guys always saying that? Zilch did the same thing. He was always like... <gasps> Damn. <laughs> Maybe they're made from the same person, and it's like a habit. I I mean, I guess fake Zilch was a hitman himself, so... Yeah. Could be clones. Master, if what he's saying is true, Makoto was the one who instigated the chief to hire the hitman. Does that mean he knew about the chief and Yomi's plot and took advantage of it? Yeah. All to eliminate Yomi. And he took the chief's life, too. Even me being there was part of his plan. He's had me in the palm of his hand all along. If that's the case, I'll make him pay. Please kill him. That'd be so cool to see. That would be cool. I'd love it if, like, we just don't get a mystery labyrinth and we just kill him. <laughs> no labyrinth this time. It's like he's totally emotionless. At this point, that is red. The guy more than I fear him. Boiler. This is. I guess this is the boiler. Looks like it can produce a ton of heat. I get it. Maybe the heat's moving the turbines to create electricity. If that's red blood in there, is that like real people they're feeding the fake people? I don't know, cuz it's it looks like blood. Look, they got a little tube that goes down into the meat buns. Yeah, that's definitely blood. Dude. Blood they're putting into the meat buns. Those are probably the kidnapped people from the world's biggest mystery or whatever. Yeah, maybe they're just kidnapping people for a food source more than anything. That'd be my guess. They clone them and f make food out of them. But they they only called it one mass kidnapping incident, not like a continuous thing, so I don't <coughs> really know. I swallowed water bad. <coughs> oh no, Fubuki, just rewind time. We're all bunched up over there again. I think we can stick to the same old strategy. No, poor Fubuki. Whatever will we do without your massive brain? Right. Oh, the tablet's over... It's right there. Here. Come on, guys. Come over here. I'm really surprised we haven't, like, pieced together that, hey, these meat buns, by the way. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't want to know. Hmm, true. These clothes belong to Fubuki. Ah, poor thing. Yet again, another one of your friends was devoured. The biggest dimwit survived the longest. Perhaps thanks to her overpowered ability. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest dimwit. So Tessahiko died like first. Homunculus experiment report. My apologies. I do not understand what is on the computer screen. So I'll <laughs> write it down, word for word. Okay, alright. Let's see. Three years ago. The Unified Government's research facility successfully created the first homunculus. Okay. Okay. The secret to their success was the DNA used as the core for their artificial uh, Halara cells. said it came from superior specimens, and our theory was that the superior specimens were people with fortes. Okay, that makes sense. Their focus was on individual differences in DNA, so they experimented with various peoples. Okay. They found success in one person's DNA. Someone believed to have the world's Is it greatest Makoto? mind. Number one. Or number one. Or... Me. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant Yuma. Definitely not him either. Hmm. World's greatest mind. Well, if this was three years ago, it was before Makoto showed up. Yeah. But it or was... Right after. It was the Unified Government's research facility, so it's... Maybe possible it was Makoto? Yeah, Makoto might just be the first homunculus. Yeah, maybe. maybe we're the second they made. Maybe. Which would explain, like... That's my younger brother, or older younger brother, yeah. My clone, my brother and clone. Yeah. But because of that greatest mind, 
the completed homunculus was able to reflect on its condition. As a result, it realized it was a homunculus and escaped the <laughs> It's Makoto. Facility. It's gotta be Makoto. Yeah. And I, I think we're also probably another one of the good homunculuses. So what happens if you kill them in a mystery labyrinth? Would they stay dead? These guys didn't. And they're the bad version. Would they just turn dumb? Here's what I think. Well, I'm the, guessing, well, these guys might have just died, though. Right. But what I'm saying is the the world's greatest homunculus or whatever. Yeah. That's probably a successful, realized version. Where, like, so, it just won't die. When they say it's the Unified Government's Research Facility created the first homunculus, is that the first successful homunculus or the first, like, one ever? I think, okay. Like, like does that include the defective ones? Here's what I say. Okay. Disregard all the Kanai Ward ones. Because okay. those were Kanai brand homunculuses or homunculi. Uh huh. The UG government made one that worked, I'm assuming based off of number one, which is Makoto. And what I'm guessing is maybe Makoto made us. Or maybe they made us. Or for some reason, we're the same type of thing. Mm. I mean, yeah, Makoto said, like, number one's my dad. Yeah, and th- as we're leaving, he's like, I guess that means you're my what? Or something like that. Yeah. So I'm wondering if we're kind of a brother genetically to Makoto, and then offspring of number one, or clone of him, I guess. And that's why we've been able to come back so many times, or at least from the submarine, mm-hmm. is maybe we're a good one, while the other detectives actually died there, and were the bad homunculuses. These these corpses right here are homunculus corpses. Yes. Just like Yakos was when he died. Yes. And then they're going to come back later. In a day. In a day, yeah. And yeah. it's only like been like an hour or two since these guys died, so. so... So what are you saying? I'm saying that when the submarine exploded... Yes, yes, we, okay, and then everyone came back, got it. But we're the only one that's not a defective version. We're the unified government So you version. think when these guys come back, they're going to be stupid? Yes, Maybe. It might take them a minute to fully degrade, because it seems like Huesca and Yako, they just died. Yeah. And the case with Fink is probably true, Well, see, too. I think the Dr... Dr. Huesca is kind of a weird case, because I think the Dr. Huesca that's in here is the one that died three years ago. I think the one that we saw is actually the homunculus of him. Well, actually, then this one would be a monkey list, too. Yeah, I think... Never mind. I don't know. Listen, listen. Here's how I think it works. All right. This is what I think happened to Huesca. Okay. Three years ago, when Huesca recorded that video, he got eaten and killed. Do you think that one was a homunculus or not? No. Okay. And then I think they made a homunculus of him because he was just a genius and useful to have around for stuff. Uh Uh-huh. And then during the whole Yako incident... That, that homunculus that one, died. And then they sent him here again. And then now he's this. I'm okay. thinking it might take a minute before they turn into pure zombie mode. So maybe when, like, Fubuki comes back, she's probably going to be kind of normal for a second. But then as time goes on and on and on, she's going to degrade. Maybe. Which would make sense because the only r- exception to this rule is Zilch. Or maybe Makoto is the only one that knows how to make good homunculus says, and he made these guys good ones. Maybe, that's possible. It also explain maybe why the monsters went after them. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like if you're going to kill your entire cast of characters for a second time, you do it in a little bit more emotional of a way. You know? Yeah. I don't know, that's not really what I'm caring about right now. Yeah, but it's more what I'm thinking in, like, a story way. This game has been kind of bad at that, though. That specimen is still True. missing. So the UG's research facility successfully created a homunculus three years ago. A working one, right? And Project Homunculus occurred at the same time. So that's why Amaterasu Corp grew impatient. Because they got The key point is that the specimen lapped. went missing. Probably has nothing to do with this city, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, of course not. So why would it? Why would it? Yeah, I'd say like 99% chance that's Makoto. But and I think he's gonna take off his mask and have the same the face world. as us. But they gotta be exaggerating. <sighs> Makoto's really smart. Bubuki's investigation yielded this report about the monkeyless experiments. Okay. Yuma. Oh, hey, what's up? Kurumi. What did you? I don't trust this. Are you okay? <laughs> Where were you? 
Do you think she got replaced by a homunculus? <laughs> if she wasn't one already. Yeah. I thought I saw someone who looked like Aiko. Oh my god. You probably did. Aiko, your friend who passed away six months ago? Yes. I lost you when I went looking for her. But I got to talk to her a bit. She oh, so you're just stupid. Nothing happened to you. Okay. <laughs> Still, I finally okay. got to say goodbye. So she could talk to Aiko. But Aiko died way before our other suspects. And the suspects were crazy. So what if that toxin or whatever that Huesca was talking about was introduced to those guys outside? And that's why they're crazy. When Aiko apparently, and Zilch, who was like died first, mm -hmm. they seem kind of normal yet. Right. So maybe the thing Huesca was talking about was introduced to the other suspects. Well, I mean, think of the CEO guy. He died oh, forever ago. That was like three years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, something like that. Some like not like years ago. I think it was anyway. Uh or maybe. So I don't think it really has much to do with the time that they've been dead that much. It could just be different for every person too. Yeah, just different traits, different genetics, whatever, mm -hmm. different minds. Maybe it has to do with like brain power. <laughs> yeah. That's good to hear. I got to see Chief Yako back there, too. The Chief? Did you speak to him? No. No, not really. Give me his but terrible mixtape, though. Give me something that exposes the truth about this place. That you should ask her about the blank the week. Yeah. Oh, right. There was something I remembered after talking with Aiko. What do you mean? I'm so glad Kurumi's all right. <laughs> oh, God. Breathe a sigh of relief just Someone's yet. remains. Said she remembered something. We should move away from these zombies while we're chatting. The like, just around the corner. Let's see what she no, why would say. we do that? Uh, that, yeah. that? That doesn't make sense. That's not it! Bubuki. No. I need to stay strong. Everyone has to be alive. Master. Master. I'm sure they'll come back later. It's probably not how you'd like. Maybe. What did you remember? I wonder if the... Uh, Homunculuses can copy Fortes, then. Um, Heiko really hated syringes. She'd raise hell whenever the school gave out vaccines. What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> um, where's this? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of random. I'm getting there. I mentioned syringes to see if it was really Aiko I was talking to. Then I suddenly remembered. A few years ago, something bizarre happened in the, the blank week mystery. I think so. What happened? Everyone in Kanai Ward had to take a blood test. The to get all of their DNA. No one yep. could refuse. To make a homunculus out of everyone. A yep. forced blood test? Back then, we were told it was to test for a contagious disease. I had no reason to doubt it at the time. But my grandpa didn't actually get tested. He said it was suspicious how the peacekeepers were enforcing it. And the grandpa you died for good. The grandpa who went missing. Must have. Yeah. And you know what? Unless they took his Grandpa DNA when right he went missing. <laughs> he and his friends did everything they could to make sure no one found out they avoided the test. But right after it happened, Grandpa was caught and completely vanished. The same happened to anyone who didn't take the test. Hold on, Kurumi. By it, do you mean the blank week mystery? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I do. What is it? Tell us what it is. Even she acts like, oh my god. <laughs> a few years ago, a blood test was conducted on all Kanai Ward residents. Yeah, so they are definitely all homunculuses. For sure. <laughs> all I've I thought that was such a crazy theory, too, when we mentioned it. Kanai Ward. But it just makes so much sense now. Yeah. Like, I, I'm kind of having a hard time not seeing it now. Can you tell me about it? What exactly is the blank week? I can't tell you anything. Like, as in you don't know, or you can't? What? Why? <laughs> That's how no I'm feeling. who you ask, you'll get the same answer. That's because no one remembers it. Because they, they were, were dead. They were killed, and they got brought back. That's what that week was, was replacing everybody with their cloned version. Yeah. Which would make sense why it's just an empty slate. I wonder if the blood color really is the giveaway. It might be. Maybe maybe pink blood is the default, 
And red is for the good homunculi? Which doesn't really add up with the Desihiko sprite. But that also just might be an oversight. Well, if it's like a really, really, really good copy, it'd have the same blood color, right? Maybe. What do you mean? You don't remember? I woke up one day and the entire city was ruined. It was like a tornado had swept through. Oh my god. Not only were the outdoors destroyed, but the inside of our homes too. Something terrible must have happened while we were sleeping. But none of the residents remember a thing. Now they don't let you talk about it? How could that be possible? In fact, my home was... I wonder if there, you can ever see, like, hints of that talking to random people. Maybe. Back then. Hmm. But that's not all. Within that time, the date in Kanai Ward had moved forward by a week. Yeah. So it, it is a missing memory thing. Yeah. It must have been, like, a mass murder. Yeah, what'd they do with all the normal bodies? They probably ate them. Yeah, I'm sure they were just all turned to food. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> a whole week passed while you were asleep? I think so. But we never quite found out what really happened. When we woke up, everyone in Kanai Ward barely even noticed that it had been completely ravaged. Businesses with dealings outside the city were aware they had a week of no activity. But right afterwards... Kanai Ward was completely isolated, so no one could look into it. Which was right when Makoto it showed was up. was all forgotten while things were still uncertain. Yeah. No, I think it's more accurate to say we chose to forget. It was all too bizarre. Should have shared this with me sooner. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty big information to just hold on to. It kind of became a touchy subject, and no one wanted to talk about it. So that's why the Blank Week mystery became taboo. There were lots that would be terrifying, waking up like a time. week in the future but and like everything's just broken. Really I know. Some people they clean up pretty nice though. Had all so I'm guessing like the reason it was all destroyed is because they just straight up like went on a murdering spree on everyone. And then yeah, just threw them back in their bed and had them rebuild. Yeah. Some said we were all drugged by some organization. Others think our internal clocks got messed up and we all fell asleep for a week. But that doesn't just happen. <laughs> we don't know the truth. Just a coincidence. What do you think happened? It's like time froze for the whole city. Yeah, I think we have a good amount of this, like, put together. Yeah, now we just need the why. Like, what's all the point? Know is that my grandfather and others like him completely vanished back then. Well, we almost need, like, the catalyst that oh. requires us to go. And that makes sense why they'd vanish. Because they never got clones made of them. Yeah. Because they didn't have their DNA. Okay. And I don't think you could really use a dead person's DNA because it's supposed to copy everything about them at that exact moment. Yeah. Um, You're saving it, a preset, you know? Yeah, so they just... If you made a homunculus, it'd be dead. Well, um, Or gross, at least. Yeah. So... Well, what's the catalyst that's going to send us into the mystery labyrinth? Are we going to come across, like, a murder scene... I feel like that would give us way too many, like, truth bullets now. I, I don't even know if this is going to be about a murder at all, because we have so many truth bullets. No. Solution keys already? I almost think we're not going to go in there. Yeah. I wonder if it's, like, going to be a turnaround where, like, we, like, manually confront Makoto, and it's, like, the one time we don't use the power. Or the emergency exit might come in handy, finally. Because, okay, here's the thing. Uh huh. If Shinigami says this will kill you if you go through the emergency exit, I'll be like, oh, I'll come back. <laughs> it's like, okay, we chilling, you know, ain't no problem. Yeah. Which would make you wonder for all the other ones if we could have just done that before killing all these people. Uh, that'd be really funny. So if the person who's been talking to us all this time on the intercom is Makoto, mm -hmm. then where does the cloaked kid that was following us around all game come into this? Could that just have been Makoto, just following us? Roughly the same height. Well, because we see them, for the first time, jump off a train that came into Kanai Ward. So I don't think they're from inside Kanai Ward, necessarily. I don't Ma know. Maybe. And then we bump into them multiple times, almost as if they're, like, stalking us or something. Um, and they always run away from us. I don't know. Hmm. I just wonder what that is all about. Could be another detective. Also began right after those events. Huh? What if it's number one? Because <laughs> Makoto thought number one was in Kanai Ward, right? True. 
So maybe he has like a disguise. Maybe he can use like multiple fortes. Maybe he like maybe he has a copy forte like Yuma does. But it just, well, if but, we're but clones, he can like store them a little bit. So he's like, I'm gonna store Desuhiko's forte for a minute. I'm gonna store this forte, this forte, this forte, and he's like disguising as this. It's possible that Makoto and Yuma have that, mm. and it's just not as honed or controlled yet. How does you have to remember fortes take like you train those up. Right. So it makes sense if Yuma's is in like the really crappy stages and it's just framed as being a death god thing when it isn't really. When it's just his forte. Right. It's number one's forte. Maybe. The blank week mystery triggered That kind of makes sense. This is so mysteriful. Mysteriful. That's all I know. I see. Thank you. Glad I did not live here all my life. We might have. Even I don't know what's going on here. But all that info you she never do. seems useful. She should have told us about that sooner. <laughs> I agree. You can't blame her. It's taboo, remember? <laughs> okay, whatever. By the way, Yuma, did you search the whole factory? Nah, I don't know. What was the truth that voice was talking about? I still don't know. But I haven't checked everything. I don't know what's behind that door. We've already come this far. We might as well check everything. Wait, don't go. Uh, she's going to get like it's shot. <laughs> she sure loves to act before she thinks. Okay, kind of words unending rain started after the blank week mystery. Could be the blood thing we were talking about with the nutrients. Yeah. Especially that it gets recycled so many times. Yeah, it gets recycled for like power and everything too. Right. So it's uh, kind of the perfect fuel source for Kanai Ward and its people. I wonder what's... I don't know. Yeah. The rain is one part that's like, gee, I don't know. Keeping the homunculi sustained is like the only thing I can really think of right off the top of my head. Right. What's wrong? Well, I think I heard some strange noises inside. Okay, well, you go in first. <laughs> I hear something. Kurumi, it might be dangerous up ahead. I'll go first. Huh? And they say chivalry is dead. Leave this to a detective. I'll be right back once she I She can come back. Safe. We don't know if we'll come back. We Send her first. <laughs> well, we haven't put that together in our heads yet. Please don't disappear on me again. You had me worried back there. Uh, Besides, okay. if she comes back, she's probably going to be a stupid but version. Please be so, careful. what changes? Oh, yeah. Hello? Oh no, you can't do this to me. This is ominous. Looks cold in there. Is this gonna be where we find out it's human meat? We have to. It's gonna drop a body in there. It's gonna drop a body in there. Oh yeah. That's a casket. Or plunk. And they frozen. <laughs> Jeez, that's morbid. Yeah. <laughs> I like how we knew the second we realized hey. it was meat buns. Yeah. <laughs> A corpse? A human corpse? It's on the conveyor belt. So yeah, that's probably what the kidnapping is for then, because they already had Kanai Ward's residence to turn into homunculus. But that's only that's still the you're like that's one person per homunculus for like a week. You need to keep up that amount. Yeah. You know? So they probably kidnapped a bunch and just kept them on ice and feed them to them. Those meat buns. <laughs> I've eaten so many of them. Maybe we have. No way. You're kidding. <laughs> Yeah, that puking sound he definitely has. Mm. <laughs> why make such a thing? We know why. Master, there's something else over there. We should check everything first. I wonder I wonder how much of this we've pieced together and how much of it we're still wrong about or don't know. I think we've pieced more than you'd expect. But I'm sure there's still going to be like a big thing that's like, oh, you know. Because I think we have a lot of this, honestly. 
I, it's almost making me think we're going to go into the mystery labyrinth and it's going to be like, easy, easy, maybe easy. But then the other part of me th- knows that never happens to us. No. <laughs> we're always like, oh, we were so close. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to leave that episode there, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Eat a meat bun. I hope this video made you hungry. And that's it. Goodbye. Peace out. <laughs> I was waiting for you to, like, add on to me, and then you just... No, I want to start the next episode. Oh, okay, that's fair. What's up ahead? Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>